uh, you really got into a rhythm in that first half today, and you, and you hit five of the team's 15 threes this afternoon. What were you seeing from the Sparks defense, and how were your teammates able to keep finding you open? Well, I, I just think we did a better job, like, moving the ball um, and getting, invo like, everyone involved and um, compared to the, to the last game. So I just think when we have this rhythm in offense, like, we can do something great all together. Thank you. And Brianna, a really dominant effort on the glass today, winning that 42 to 25. At one point, it was 30 to 10 or so. How were you as a team able to set the tone there from a physicality standpoint, especially early and take control of the game? Um, just making sure that we, we focused in on, do I need to talk into this thing? Uh, getting the ball and, um, you know, limiting them to, to one shot or one possession so then we can get out and run and, and like uh, Maureen said, just move the ball and find the open person. Thank you, Bo. Jackie. Hi, all. Congrats on the win. Uh, Brianna, first for you. Uh, I'm curious how uh, you thought this game allowed Maureen to get more comfortable. And how much does it help this team when she's making the shots that she made this afternoon? I mean, I'm, I don't know if it was the game. I think, you know, she just came out and was aggressive and was confident, and, and that's what we need from her. I mean, she's a great player, and we're, we're happy to have her on this team. So um, when she shoots with confidence and moves the ball the way that she does, it's um, fun to play with. I'm sure it's fun to watch and um, definitely helps just from a, a spark off the bench standpoint. Thank you. And, and Sandy, um, for you, you heard that I asked Courtney uh, this morning about collective sacrifice. And so I'm just curious how you thought that played a role in this game. Um, yeah. I mean, every time we can get up and get a league, it's because we're making right decisions and, and the ball's moving through hands and we're playing in the right way. And, and when teams come back, usually we stop doing that. <laughs> so it's a correlation. So I think we just get settled, we get trigger happy and don't take the right shots. Um, so that's an area we've got to keep getting better at. And, but overall, like I said, for three quarters, I thought we um, played extremely well and um, we had a few lapses here and there. And just that fourth quarter, you know. Would be nice to give my starters a little bit more of a rest, but um, yeah, we got the job done, and that was the goal, just to win the game. Thank you. Congratulations. Jeff. Jeff. Mute. Jeff looks frozen. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't think okay. it's. Oh, there you go. One more time, Jeff. Oh. oh. We're gonna, we'll come back, Jeff. Oh, no. We're gonna go over to Christos. Hello, ladies, congratulations on the win. Just a question for you, uh, team, dif uh, different teammates of you stepped up in the game. What does it show about the chemistry and, the, and everything that you built through this season? Yeah, I think just the, the growth, um, the the comfortability, the familiarity that we have with one, with one another. And <clears throat> I'm continuing to know that, you know, as we move the ball from side to side, we have a lot of options and makes it hard on, on defenses and um, everyone playing with confidence and yeah. And for you coach, from coaching standpoint, what do you like most on the way that your team play? Um, like I said, they're very unselfish. They're 26, what, 24? Six assists. I better put my glasses on. Yeah, we rebounded well. We did a lot of good things. Well, we kept. We made the extra pass. Um, you know, we when we held the ball, that was the only time where it's like just keep moving the ball. We're going to find great action with what we do, and um, and it was great. And Marine got going, and, and other people. We got some wide open looks, and you know, we got JJ down low too. So overall, it's a solid game. Wasn't happy with the fourth quarter, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a bit of an Achilles for us, but. Uh, um, it was good response game for us after losing the last game against Minnesota. Brian? Hi, everybody. Uh, Brianna, in the first quarter, you guys went on a 21-2 run, and I believe you guys stopped Los Angeles for the six, 12 straight possessions. What do you think was working best during that stretch, and how do you think the defense can sort of continue to sort of get better from here? I think we were limiting them to tough shots. They want they were taking, you know, pull-ups um, and we were rebounding the ball and continuing to kind of push the pace. And, and at the same time, you know, in the back of our minds, know the run that we gave up to Minnesota in the first quarter and making sure that um, we were relentless and, and we didn't stop. And, you know, now it's obviously we have to do that for all four quarters, but 
um, <clears throat> just the way that we didn't stop and we kept moving the ball and we, we really pushed the pace. Thank you. And Sandy, um, what's something that you're going to try to sort of carry over as far as the lesson for the group to take in the Tuesday night? <laughs> yeah, I think the ball movement, the defense when we're locked in, executing the scout with what we want to do. Um, yeah, we'll carry that over. You know, and there's areas we'll get better at, you know, like transition defense. All right, thank you. And Maureen, um, I believe you're the first player off the bench today, and you were really able to sort of make a big impact. Um, how bad do you think it is for you to sort of be that, that spark off the bench to sort of like keep the offense going and give the big starters some rest too? Um, what I think we like, we just have to stop overthinking, like the bench. We just have to go in and do our best. Um, put like um, rhythm, uh, run the floor, and uh, be aggressive. We just have to stay uh, confident. Thank you, guys. We'll go back to Jeff and then finish in the room. All right, Jeremy, do you guys hear me, do you guys hear me now? Yes. All right, good, much better, thank you. Um, Coach, my first question is for you. I wanted to ask about, again, that first quarter run and kind of to talk about something that um, Jackie brought up during the last game on Friday, talk about the way the team was uh, trigger-happy during the Minnesota game. What did you think about the shot selection, particularly during that 19 nothing run, and got you guys off to a good start? What did you think of that in the first in the first frame? Well, very good. <laughs> High percentage shots, so we made shots, but we got into the paint. I think in the last game, we were just taking, reversing it and just shooting it. Whereas we, we emphasise, like, let's just get two feet into the paint and get a little bit more open looks, and, and we made them. And, and we're capable of that, but just cleaner looks for us. I was really happy with that. Absolutely, thank you. And, Brianna, my next question is for you. Um, from a player's perspective, you know, you guys played a lot better with the lead today, played uh, and through the five-minute mark of the final quarter, uh, Seattle, uh, Seattle, Los Angeles got as close as 16 the rest of the game. So what changed the most on the floor from... Um, the, from the first 15 minutes of the second half to the final five, and how can you guys avoid a similar situation on Tuesday? I think just continuing to stay in the moment, you know, knowing that really it was the last five minutes of the fourth quarter and um, continuing to do our job, you know, understanding what, what got us the lead at this point, what, what was working in the game, and um, not kind of you know, falling away from that. And... Um, yeah, we're going to continue to, to kind of be conscious of that going forward. And, um, you know, we have a quick turnaround with LA again, so we'll make sure that we just continue to lock in. Appreciate your time and insight all three. Congrats on the win. Um, yeah, for both um, Coach and for either player that wants to answer, just maybe if you could expand a little bit on um, things that you feel like you need to improve as we kind of get closer towards the end of the season. I know you're all always thinking about that. Yeah, turnovers is one of them. I think we get a little lazy with the ball and uh, we just make really unforced turnovers that lead to easy baskets in transition and transition D is another one. Uh, we dominated the boards tonight, so offensive rebounding was an issue for us. It's, but just, you know, communication, talking, because we, when we broke down, it was a lack of talk and we left people open. Um, staying, you know, true to the identity that we've set out to, you know, uh, to play at the start of the year and, and keep learning and growing together. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.